Okay, I'm going to do an open box video on the Gunners Up full size wingers. Uh, this is, uh, I bought three new wingers, and this is the uh, first time opening these boxes. It's going to show you what comes in the box. Here's what you get when you open the box. Uh, you're seeing it just the same as I'm seeing it. So uh, they come packaged just like this, right from uh, manufacturer, and uh, they uh, are well protected, well packaged, and they appear to be uh, uh, well handled by the FedEx man. I believe that's who delivered them. But here's what you get when you open the box. And uh, I'll show you a, a setup, a uh, complete setup of this as a new piece of equipment. Got some literature in here, safety guidelines, how to use it, a little uh, bit of advertisement for other stuff, holding blinds and stuff that comes or that are available from Gunners Up. Brand new piece of equipment, the uh, lock open arms are actually a very close tolerance and I see this actual set that I have here, these, these braces are a little bit different design than uh, the ones that I've opened up for brand new for their club that we ordered a few years ago. But uh, right out of the box it uh, looks to be completely uh, assembled and almost ready to use just requiring setup and I'll cover that now. In the setup of this uh, winger, full size winger, I think the other uh, son of a gun is in a similar setup. I've never used one so I can't say for sure. But they come with this safety latch and what this does is this keeps this from going off in inadvertently. In other words, with this piece rotated up, there's no way that that uh, release can open to launch the, the equipment. With the safety device pulled in the open position, it can now be opened electronically or manually. Well, some people put a pull string or a pull handle on this little loophole here so that you pull it this way and it launches it manually and uh, what will happen is under load with the bungees under load this will open up release the basket and the bird launches or the bumper uh, will launch um, everything on here appears to be very tight there's no uh, loose hardware on uh, the different connections well I say that I said that this one seems to be a little bit loose so I've always checked everything to make sure it's uh, assembled properly and, and uh, 
ready to use and this particular one here has got a little bit of a defect in that the bend on this is the wrong direction if you see the the piece where it's flattened for your mount holes uh, it should be inverted the other way well with the hook bent this way uh, it won't do that and I'll show you what I mean on the similar one straight down below it if you look you see the flat is pounded around I won't call that a serious defect but I will ding them for uh, quality control because somebody should have caught that you know these uh, these little uh, dollar hooks or whatever the manufacturer pays for these um, they ought have they should have caught that uh, simply just bent in the wrong direction other than that it looks to be in complete uh, assembled and I'll just go around the, all the way around the horn these holes in this cross piece here are very close tolerance in other words putting this pin in the first few times is going to take some time for it to wear if you notice this this pin has a little keeper ball on it and that's just to keep it from falling out so to set this up the first few times it really takes a little finesse to get that in there this safe this cable on here is just a keeper cable so that when it's stowed it doesn't get lost these pins tend to be uh, something that will get lost and I've found that you can replace these pins uh, through a retailer fastenal uh, carries a similar pin it's a little bit longer than this but uh, going on around the top of the head assembly here you've got your pulley systems pulley mechanisms that uh, create the help create the load with the bungees to uh, give you a good high arc uh, or long distance launch and all this seems to be in very good order being brand new out of the box I would expect it to be your bungees have a double plastic tie on them where they're folded over and held twice to hold your rings over time some of that may deteriorate uh, leaving them out in the sun can have an effect on that um, but in anyway uh, it looks like at this point that everything is in proper order and can be used I'm going to get a screwdriver and attempt to uh, make sure that that's snug but I may just put this in a vise and straighten it out or uh, uh, I may call or, um, Tuesday and order a new one just to uh, replace it and use this as a backup because I don't like that it's just gonna wear and tear is going to cause uh, those threads to strip out and then this hooks not going to want to stay on I don't anticipate myself using the short hooks very much but if you want a short throw uh, for your setup and your training uh, that's what those short hooks are up there for so I'm gonna cut this and and do a little bit with that and then I'm gonna come back and continue the setup process another thing I uh, forgot to mention is how these uh, gunners up come pre-wired for electronics um, I use uh, a set of dog trail electronics and uh, I carry them in this box uh, it kind of protects everything I carry in here a control release I carry some uh, chargers a pair of uh, side cuts some zip ties which I use to uh, uh, put on the uh, to hold them on in place uh, if I need something that's more stable and of course I carry in this ammo box which I carry some extra stuff too uh, some colored zip ties and things like that with the uh, installation of these it's relatively easy you pull pull one out and uh, I'm gonna try and do this uh, one-handed here but uh, the velcro is here to protect the uh, cable the wire for your electronics when they're in storage and transport position um, you'll see several different slots on the uh, uh, frame here and on the back of each piece of uh, electronics these particular the dog trail are our deluxe they have these uh, uh, fasteners that go in the hole 
and then slide down and it's a very snug tight fit on brand new ones uh, and that's for good reason it's to uh, I guess protect your equipment it's almost hard for me to try and do this one-handed so I'm gonna cut you off and I'll come back to this one I've got it set up but that's how you do there's uh, several connections you can run your look control from the left this port here is for the uh, battery charger and then you got a uh, uh, right side control if you want to link them to your right side button uh, to daisy chain these with an accessory cable um, but I normally I normally run the left side um, just because it makes it easy for the wire to come up and in I'll uh, come back to that when I get this set up okay I'm back with these uh, this control install and I want to kind of walk through a, a something here I don't really like the way Gunners up uh, creates the mount position for these dog trail electronics. And what it is, I showed you the, the two holes in there, and on the back of these controllers are these two little pins. There's one there, another one there. And my experience is that if you don't have that pin screwed in tight, if you leave it in there loose, it will shake and vibrate, and you'll lose it in the grass or the field somewhere. And it'll be gone. I don't know if putting Loctite on it to have that thing in the right position and Loctite it would work long term or not. Uh, maybe somebody can uh, comment down below and tell me what you've done. But here was my solution. is I use these colored zip ties for a couple of reasons. One, it helps me identify it as my wing or my control because we train with other people. We have uh, different setups and whatnot. But anyway, um, I, you have to loosen those pins on the back, uh, threading, pulling the thread out to get it to go in and slide down on the frame rail for the slots provided. The holes at the top of those slots do not correspond precisely with the pin or, or screw positions on the back of this control. So I think there's a little bit of uh, concern, my concern there. Uh, unless I'm doing something wrong, um, this is the way I've always had to do it. And I found that putting this zip tie on here is something that will keep it from falling off. You know, when they're 100, 150 yards out, you don't want to have to run back out because it's not working, only to find the control laying on the ground. So I put this on here. This will keep it from falling off. I can take and slide it off and then pop that up and out. But this is just kind of a, a fail-safe. Keeps it in position where I want it. Um, and so we'll go with that. Uh, you can see how... The controls on there, uh, control wire plugs into the what I said, the left side button on my control. There's a left and a right. I use a left. This is controller number three, so I've got it set on three. But it goes down the tube, comes into the control place where the servo is. And if you watch, when I hit this left button, you'll see that servo move. And that's what releases when this is under tension the bale is is closed the ring is on the red mark the bungees are pulled down to to the hooks the bird or or bumper is loaded in the basket when you hit that left button it releases bungee tension launches that bird up and out now I'll, I'll do a demonstration of that uh, I'm, I'm gonna reload or load this uh, bungees under pressure for the first time and everything should go well okay with the basket set uh, the release mechanism ring here is at the red line even the red line this is right out of the box and the red line the paint is chip faded something there uh, that was like that I think uh, when I pulled it out because it was just moments ago that I loaded this and noticed that how that paints faded and so it used to be what I know is a quality product but it appears that their quality quality control is lacking for uh, this particular unit in, in, in itself. Uh, another thing that I always do, and I'm not doing it on this one because this is demonstration purposes, but when I set up for test or training, I have some uh, pieces of rebar that I cut, heated with a torch and bent, and they go down inside uh, or to the inside of this and drive straight down about 10 12 inches deep and uh, the the head of it comes down and kind of clamps over this in this fashion and 
what that does is it keeps the the head of this from lunging when this basket releases and throws it, it kind of want to hop and what that does is give inconsistent throws so I uh, made these stakes for myself and then I made a bunch for my club uh, and we found them to work very good, especially if you're in your uneven terrain, uh, loose or shifting soil, um, or you're just throwing, you know, 50, 50 birds a day out of one in a finished level test, you're going to be using this a lot and you want consistency. So uh, your bungees, uh, throw them out there, but if your base is moving around on you, it tends to create inconsistent area of the fall when that bird hits the ground. So that's what I do. I'm going to go ahead and load this now with a, uh, a brand new Dawkin. I uh, went to Cabela's because I had some gift cards to use up. And uh, you can never have enough of these training tools. So what I do is I always put them in with the head at the back, feet at the front, and the tail tucked in, uh, the tail throw rope tucked in in that fashion. What that does is that... Uh, keeps it from coming out and hitting this upright bar as it comes out right here is that crossbar and uh, it will keep it from hitting that and uh, flopping out on on the ground right in front instead of giving you a good high throw so I'm gonna grab my controller and uh, give this the initial uh, inaugural launch here and show you exactly what and how high this thing actually will go. It's hard to see in the sun here through my viewfinder, but here we go. Um, you may hear the servo, you may not, but you will see that uh, it does definitely give a good long launch. My dog's sitting over there. She's probably going to jump up and go running after it because she's been watching me do this. Uh, we've been doing obedience and she hasn't gotten any marks or retrieves in months because we're... Uh, in uh, fitness training right now so here it here goes the launch you can see we got a huge high arc so high that it almost bounced and cleared that fence out there and here comes my hot rod dog bring it here come here tail out leave it there you have uh, open box initial setup and launch of Gunners up full size winger. Uh, if you have comments, suggestions, uh, things that you've done to yours over the years to help uh, improve consistency, ease of setup, or anything like that, place a comment down below and uh, we can maybe start a dialogue and help others benefit from the same thing. She's ready, uh, it's, but it's time to go uh, move on to other things.